So what I'm going to talk about is miraculous change in CR. So let's look at four scriptures real quick. I'm going to read them all in succession. So you got to be quick on the trigger. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 through 21. Come on, Herb. We got you. All right. It says, the acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissension, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warned you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 5, verse 11. Come on, Come on, you know, the Bible talks about drunkenness, right? Mm -hmm. It says, woe to those who are early in the morning to run after drinks, who stay up late at night till they are inflamed with wine. Let's look at Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 15. And it says right here, Woe to him who gives drink to his neighbor, pours it from the wineskin till they are drunk, so that they can gaze at their naked bodies. Let's look at... And that's in Habakkuk 2, verse 15. And let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. Therefore, since we have the promise, dear friends, let us purify us from everything that contaminates the body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of the reverence for God. You know, these are some of the scriptures to keep you in mind when it comes to having a miraculous change in terms of chemical recovery. You know, you know if you look at Jesus, Jesus, in my first point is Jesus sought out sinners. We all sinners. So let's look at Luke chapter 7, verse 37, uh, Luke chapter 7, verse 33 to 35. Okay. Go, bro. This is good, it says right here, for John the Baptist came neither eating, neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you say he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking, and you say, here is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. You know, sometimes when we look at people that have chemical recovery issues, we become very judgmental. We forgot that we used to go to the clubs, we went to the parties, we got drunk, we smoked weed, we did all that type of stuff. And what happens is you don't see the need to build your character. So you don't say, well, I don't need CR. I did that 20 years ago. But you have the same character that led you into doing those things. Let's look at So my second point is you got to know where you came from. Some of us. And I have, I have to look at this myself, man. I got to remember where I came from. First yeah. mm. Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. Yeah. Paul was very in touch with where he came from. First yeah. mm. Timothy 1. And it says right here, here's a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners 
to whom I am the worst. But for the very reason I was shown mercy, so that in me the worst of sinner, Christ Jesus, might display his immense patience as an example for those who have believed in him and received eternal life. Come on. Now to the king eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You know, Paul was in touch with his sinful nature, which allowed him to be able to help others. Yeah. You know, Romans chapter 12, and this is my last scripture, Romans chapter 12, verse um, 3 through 5, Come on, bro. It says right here. I'm sorry, Romans chapter 12, verse 3 to 5. I'm sorry. Speak one, bro. It says, For the grace given to me, I say to each one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself in sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed distributed to each of you. For just as each of us, uh, just as each of us has one body with many members, these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ Jesus, that may form one body. Each member belongs to all the, the others. Right, yeah. So... We got to look at ourselves in sober judgment. Some of us avoid CR, like, man, I don't need CR. But you had issues of chemical recovery issues that almost led to your death. Right. We have to look at ourselves with sober judgment in order to have a measurably more success in overcoming chemical recovery. And that is my talk. Thank you. Thank you.